Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking FIFA 23 today, and especially some dates that you need to know as FIFA 23 is fast approaching. We have confirmed dates from EA Sports. We also have some unconfirmed dates and a lot of question marks. When are we going to get on the web app? When are we going to get the official ratings released by EA? When are we going to get the full database so we can start building starter squads? Are we going to get a FIFA 23 demo? We're going to try to answer all those questions today and more by looking at a calendar and kind of sorting out how the next basically three weeks are going to look before FIFA 23 arrives. So if you're excited for all that today, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new. Let's start with the dates that we know for sure. And that are, that is the confirmed release dates of when we will get on the full game of FIFA 23, depending on what edition you have purchased. If you bought the Ultimate Edition, September 27th is your date. And if you bought the Standard Edition, September 30th is your date. These are the only dates that are confirmed right now 100% by EA Sports. We also have the EA Play Early Access, and we'll talk about this now a little bit, and of course more in the future, that EA Early Access, the whole 10 hours this year, looks a lot different because it's the same exact release date as the Ultimate Edition. So is it really worth it? We'll unpack that, of course, here pretty soon. But these are the confirmed start dates of when we can actually get on the full game, no time limit, nothing restricting us whatever those are the dates and we're going to keep it straight today with this calendar like i mentioned i want to take a look through all of the stuff that could be released from today on september 8th right you are here see that right pretty handy and then all the way through the end of the month for the full release day talk about everything in between as well let's start with where we're at right now you are here, right? What do we have going on right now in FIFA with release stuff wise? Not a whole lot. A little bit about ones to watch, right? They've got this fancy loading screen right now showing, uh, you know, Sterling, Holland, Nunez, Richarlison. They've confirmed that these four are ones to watch cards as of right now. They've told us how ones to watches are going to upgrade a little bit. The wins to watch and a new nations to watch upgrade is coming for these cards. That's cool, right? But it's all kind of just little bits of information. It's not anything too drastic. What we're really looking for as the next thing to be released from EA Sports at this time are the ratings and the database. That's what we're looking for next. And last year with FIFA 22, EA really milked some of the ratings. They started this thing called the Ratings Collective, and it's actually, um, if you just Google FIFA 22 Ratings Collective, this is where all of the ratings were dropped last year. They kind of make a big deal about it. They post videos of players kind of revealing their own ratings, and then EA themselves release it by league, and then they come and do these lists of like best dribblers, best passers, um, five-star skillers, fastest players, which some of these are pretty cool to look at, but again, it kind of feels like EA milk it. You look, right? September 14th was when we had the first official ratings releases from EA Sports, and I believe last year, the full database was released on September 20th. So it's like, it's like pain. EA starts to tease us with some of these ratings, and then we don't get the full database until like a week after. So that's why in the calendar, I think EA is going to do it again this year. They're going to start milking the ratings and releasing some in the next couple of days, probably starting early this next week, September 12th, September 13th. Now you might be like, Nate, we already know some of the ratings. Well, yes, we do. But EA was very quick to actually try to copyright strike a lot of those ratings on Twitter. So that means they must have been right, but it's not very widespread information. So there's still going to be a lot of hype about the official ratings most likely coming out in this next week. Now, one thing that I'll say about the database on here is too, the database usually will come out about a week, a week and a couple days before we get on the full game for the first time. As you can see, like I showed in this tweet from FootWiz last year, FootWiz will have the full database for sure again this year because FootWiz has a, a basically uh, like a partnership with EA Sports where they actually get this stuff a little bit earlier. So if you're, you're like me and you're used to getting on Footbin, right? And you're used to looking on Footbin for all your cards and stuff like that. Footbin will get the database really, really fast afterwards, but FootWiz will probably be one of the first places to get that full database uh, this year. So again, they tweeted this out right after 6 p.m. content on September 20th. So again, you know, I would really hope for a database to be earlier than that because right now we're, we're just wanting to know. Let's start building our starter squads. Let's start planning this sort of thing out. We can't do that just yet because we don't have ratings, official ratings. We don't have much of a database. We only have some of those leaks. So until we get that stuff, which hopefully is going to start in this next week, 
again, that's what's really going to start to build the hype for FIFA 23. Now, the one thing I want to talk about too is, is, is a demo. Uh, I don't believe we had a demo for FIFA 22 last year. I believe it was canceled. I haven't heard anything about a demo this year as well for FIFA 23, but I wanted to put that on the calendar here because technically, usually about two and a half weeks before the full game release is when they put out the demo. They make it free for everybody to use. Of course, it's very limited. You play offline, but you know, just, I don't know. I would wait to hear some information about that. There hasn't been any leaks about it as far as I've heard. So we'll kind of be looking out for some more information on that, but I wouldn't get your hopes too high. That's why I've got a question mark by it. Really not so sure about that. So besides those two things, but specifically the ratings, the next biggest thing, probably a week from today on last year, basically two weeks and one day before the full game release, we had a huge, very, very informational pitch notes that was released. And I'm really looking forward to this pitch notes released for this year. Basically, it's called the launch update. They've done it the past two years. This will give us so much information about what is to come. Now, this is last year's written by Mr. Jamie Kane, former foot economist himself. This is where we learned about the brand new rewards for this last year. We learned about foot heroes, performance-based programs, and a, a lot of stuff in here, right? The early access, the ones to watch, um, the team of the week stuff. I believe it was in this article that we first learned about featured team of the week cards, which was such a flop last year. But you know, we're gonna learn about a lot of interesting things from these pitch notes, like the foot heroes, they show them all in there. They kind of said when they were going to be dropped. They talked about the brand new icons, about preview packs, and they also gave us an official date for the web app. And that's a very, very big question that a lot of people are asking even right now is, when is the web app going to be released? And we'll talk about that again in a second. But these pitch notes, again, like I said, are huge because as it even says here in the article, they share a glimpse of what to, to look for in this next in, in incoming FIFA Ultimate Team. So I think this is going to be sometime about a week from today or a week from uh, tomorrow. The 15th or 16th is kind of when you can expect that based off of how they have done it in previous years because... It's kind of like a nice little hype builder, right? Because they give us enough time to start to think about it and, and get hyped about it and some of the new changes. So that's one thing that I'd be looking out for would be a ultimate team launch update pitch notes with a lot of information about new stuff inside of ultimate team in FIFA 23. Now the pitch notes that we've had so far um, have been just like the foot deep dive. We had that in August. We just had a foot chemistry update pitch notes that was released, you know, about a week ago, a little over a week ago. And that was nice to get that information from EA Sports, but it doesn't give us a ton more. We're, there's still a lot of information like the new icons officially being released or, you know, some of the new ones to watch dates and stuff that you see that is in this set of pitch notes, right? Like if you save your ones to watch guaranteed pack or the wins to watch upgrades, how they did those last year, right? We're still awaiting a lot of information and that's what this set of pitch notes is going to give us. So I'm very, very excited for those should be about a week away from that. Now I mentioned the database kind of with re the release. Now the biggest thing to talk about next is when's that web app going to drop Nate? What do you think is EA going to do this year with the web app? Now last year, this is very, this is a, this is where it gets really different. Last year, the web app started on the same day as the 10 hour trial of EA access. And that was one of the things we talked about at the start of the video was really different change this year. The EA play 10 hour trial early access starts on the same day as the ultimate edition access. So there's really no point to the 10 hour early access trial this year, because if you just bought the ultimate edition, you get the game unlimited time on the same day. This is a bit of a bummer in my opinion. I would have liked to have the 10 hour early access at the old time when it was usually released with the start of the web app. Uh, but I guess EA decided that they didn't want to do that this year. So that's kind of the way that's going. But that's got me thinking, could the web app be at a different time this year? That's why I put some question marks in here. And this arrow is because last year, if we're going off of the usual schedule, the web app is almost always released on the Tuesday or Wednesday. That is the week before or six days before, if you will, the three days early access, right? There's always three day early access for the ultimate edition. This year, Tuesday the 27th is that date. So six days before that, seven days before that is the 20th or 21st. That's when we would look to see this year's FIFA 23 web app released. But the problem is with EA moving back that 
EA Play 10 hour trial access, does that mean that EA is also going to move back the web app? Does that mean that EA will not let us on to this year's web app until the 27th? If that's the case, then the 27th would be a huge day. And I'm, again, this is going against what EA has done in past years. I, I really hope that it's this way. I would love to have five days on the web app to be able to open welcome backpacks, to start trading, to do the advanced SBCs for the hardcores, to get on the game, get some cards on the market as well. And I believe you can buy FIFA points and open packs on the web app as well. So there will be supply coming in. People will be packing cards and stuff, right? So I would be down for the, the web app to be on the 21st because that's how it would have been from previous years. And also Team of the Week 1 would be released on that day. But I'm just not quite sure because EA has changed up this year. So two potential dates for the web app. The 21st, 20th or 21st, and then the 27th, maybe even the 26th as well. That's the biggest thing that's up in the air right now is we have no idea when the web app is going to be released. But EA Sports should give us some clues because whenever you go to the web app and it's down... The web app is going to be closing for maintenance probably in the next, I would say, week. So just make sure and, and keep watch that when the web app goes down, when you're not able to log in and see your, your ultimate team from here, which looks like, by the way, the market is working again after the glitches that were happening yesterday. Uh, but whenever the web app is like closed down and stuff, then that will be a telltale sign that we are getting very, very close to the web app being released now of course as you can see last year it was released on september 22nd which was the exact same day a wednesday that ea play the 10 hour trial access was released as well so that's the biggest question mark and that's why i put some question marks on here for that because we really don't know what's going to be happening with the web app and that's the biggest question mark now again we talked about the early access the pre-order access on the 27th you know i mean I'm not saying that the 10 hour trial, let's go back to that for a second. I'm not saying that the 10 hour early access trial is gonna have no use. If you're somebody who bought the standard edition or you're not even sure if you want to play FIFA yet, you can buy EA Play or EA Access for like $4 or $5 and you can play the game for 10 hours, see if you like it. If you don't, then you can just say, all right, I'm done. And, and maybe I'll buy the game during team of the year when it's on sale for like 50% off or something like that. So for that aspect, the EA Play 10 hour early trial is still very, very viable. But for most of us that are just looking to get on the game as soon as possible and start our FIFA journey as soon as possible, there's really no point to the EA Play early access trial this year because it is the same release date and probably around the same release time as the Ultimate Edition access on September 27th. So again, that was one of the big things that um, that we were looking at with the schedule this year being different and like, hmm, that's really interesting. So we'll have to see how it all plays out. Now, one thing I would also say is EA is posting stuff on their Twitter. Like I, I didn't, I didn't say, you know, like watch EA's Twitter account because EA's Twitter and the FIFA Direct Twitter will post a lot of stuff. Like even a couple days ago, right on on uh, the sixth, they posted about the ones to watches, and, and this actually sparked a lot of new information that we didn't know about, like new ones to watches being confirmed. So this was nice information from EA Sports. So definitely follow EA's Twitter because and, and follow along with their tweets because they're going to continue to post stuff that'll give us little tidbits bits of information, uh, maybe with pitch notes and stuff like that, the FIFA Direct Communication account will be posting there. So keep your eyes peeled, as they say, on the EA Sports FIFA account as well, because we're, we're getting close, guys. We're getting very, 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 very close to the full release day of FIFA 23. It's coming in soon. It's coming in hot. So that's why I wanted to make this video today is really just to kind of give an overview of the dates and stuff to be watching out for because it's almost crunch time. We've got some more FIFA 22 stuff to talk about and just kind of to remember the year of FIFA 22, but we're going to start looking towards FIFA 23 because it's knocking on the doorstep and we're getting excited. So if you enjoyed this video today and if it was helpful for you at all, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about the schedule. If you have any opinions on when you think some of the stuff will drop. And of course, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and get buckled in for a big year of FIFA 23. It has been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace. Out.